Right, hello everybody. I wanted to show people um, something about the um, infotainment system on the Opal Vauxhall Atom. So we're going to boot it up. more times in the upper left corner right and we we get this um, development mode um, password insertion pop -up on which we're going to type 2011-0827 it doesn't say anything but uh, if, if, he, if it wasn't correct it would say there's something wrong with the password then we go back and we get an interesting sorry for my phone we get an interesting new menu uh, and now it works right but that's not the interesting thing the interesting thing is that uh, although I did a bit of research on this and it, apparently it was it should be running Qnix it doesn't appear to be running Qnix it appears to be running watch this we're going to explore a mode Windows CE 6.0 oh yes what a disappointment but this isn't the worst part now if I can get it to work because um, start menu doesn't seem to want to work very well Fact. sometimes it works sometimes not touch screen driver in, in Windows isn't working too well I don't know how to work around the, the problem with the with the with the software that shows up it must override the all oh, right okay we'll go about it this way control panel all right and we go into system right that's the interesting thing the interesting thing is that this is I don't know if you can show that I can't read it off the, the space is too small it says um, RMI MIPS 32 hyphen AU 13 double X and it says it's got something short of 16 megs of RAM and how about the storage we have um, storage memory is something of the order of 5 megs and the program memory is something of the order of 150 megs and there's another interesting thing device name well that's not the interesting part the interesting, the interesting part is below where it says it's um I don't know if that focused long enough to, to read it all GL, uh, LG Electronics Inc biome platform I don't know if that stands for biometric maybe it was originally intended to to go on uh, some biometric appliance but um, here we have it in the infotainment system which is running on really really low power um, um, system on chip I mean my my first smartphone which was a Samsung Galaxy Next uh, had something like um, 250 megs of RAM that's 16 times the RAM of this thing and that was a smartphone that's I don't know maybe at the time it was still a bit expensive well expensive uh, something like 100, 110 euro or something like that I've had you know I've had um, smartphones that I bought later than that which were running on uh, Android 4 or something like 4.4 4 .4. and they were having half a gig of RAM and um, 
you know processor which with you know two or four cores running at one gigs this thing, I, well, I, I, I haven't been able to find out uh, what's the frequency of, of the, um, what's the um, clock of the of the core, but the RAM is uh, is just ridiculously low. There's um there's some access points or, or routers that would have more RAM than this. It's not really enough to to um, to do anything useful with Linux. You could probably uh, run the kernel and a few basic. Uh, services something uh, that would be enough for um for an access point or a router but you're not going to get uh, a GUI off that I guess so that's maybe why it's not running Unix well so much of that I don't know how, how much um general motor uh, charges for this system but it's um anything that, that would cost more than a, than a really low-end smartphone plus an amplifier would be just crazy it will be all profit. I don't know. I uh, I got it in the car. I got no choice. Um, but knowing this, I wouldn't pay anything for this. I'd, I'd have it off my car and buy a, a normal stereo instead of this. Thanks for watching. See you next time.